ho ho, Mikey Claus is back again with another movie review. Let's dive right into it. So today I thought it would be fun to talk about a movie that I watched just the other day that I hadn't seen in a very long time and I was longing to see it. Um, and it is a movie that I only really remembered certain scenes from. Um, because this movie came out back in 2004, which is 20 years ago. And the first time I seen it, I only really remembered like certain scenes, like the river scene. And I just remember it having a very Stand By Me vibe to it, which um, I'm always craving that same vibe from movies. Like I, I've looked for years to try to find something because Stand By Me is one of my favorite movies. And I've spent a long time and I've watched a lot of movies trying to find something that even comes close to it in terms of vibe, not necessarily storyline or anything. Um, and I've never found anything. I mean, there's like the Goonies, the Sandlot, like there's all these ones that people talk about um, and they're just coming of age, like teenage boy movies, but nothing's got the same vibe to me as Stand By Me. I would say Mean Creek is about the closest I've ever been able to find. And I watched it just the other night and it still felt like that to me. It had that same kind of a dark vibe to it. I can't really explain it. Like Stand By Me, it's it's got some comical scenes. It's got some heartfelt, warm, cozy scenes. And like, it's got sad scenes. It's got a little bit of everything. Um, but it does have this like dreary, serious, kind of depressing feeling, especially toward the end. This is Stand By Me I'm talking about. Um, and Mean Creek had that same kind of vibe. If you guys don't know what Mean Creek is, it is a movie, I'll read this for you. It is a 2004 American independent coming of age psychological drama film written and directed by Jacob Aaron Estes. And the film is about a group of teenagers who devise a plan to get revenge on an overweight, troubled bully on a boating trip. When their plan goes too far, they have to deal with the unexpected consequences of their actions. So basically there's a group of kids um, and there's this kid who's played by Josh Peck um, and he is like much older and he's a big guy and he's been really mean to these other kids in school and he's been like held back. So he's much older than the others, but he's like still in the same grade. And there is also Sam, Clyde, Marty, Rocky, George, and Millie. And then there's like other people too, but I'm just gonna talk about the main ones. Um, and George is the, the bully. He like beats on this kid and his brother finds out his older brother. He's got like, he's been beaten up pretty bad. And there's a lot of real bad language in this movie. That's one thing that reminded me of Stand By Me is like Stand By Me also had some pretty crude language, um, which was like back in those days. I mean, this was like in, this was 20 years after Stand By Me, but it still had that same feeling even though it was much more later on. But like that was back when you could actually say bad words in movies and so it felt real. Like it was like kids talk like this, they do. Um, you might think your kids are angels, but when they're like prepubescent, like going through the, the changes and whatever, um, they're not the little angels. <laughs> At least I wasn't. Like I, this is why I related so much to Stand By Me and, and even this movie to a degree, um, because you can relate to them. You, you smoke cigarettes, you're drinking alcohol when you're 13 years old and things like that. Like, and your parents never find out, or sometimes they do. In my case, it happens, but, uh. Some people, I guess, just never find out. Maybe parents know that already. Maybe they just think their kids were little angels, um, but they do go through phases like that, kids. And they're swearing like every other word is a cuss word um, because they're just learning. And it, at that age, it's like, it's cool to say the most awful offensive things you can possibly think of, at least back then. Nowadays, you can't do that because um, everybody gets canceled. Kind of crazy to see Josh Peck saying some of the things he said on that uh, the boat park. Um, on the river that's pretty uh, insane because I was so used to seeing him from like Drake and Josh when it's like child friendly but then in this he's completely different um, and yeah he's the he's the I guess the bad guy in this movie but he does turn into the victim there is going to be spoilers in this so if you don't want if you don't like spoilers don't watch any further yeah these kids come up with this plan to basically not they're not trying to do anything too bad to him they invite him on this boating trip George doesn't have any friends. He's just this big guy who's a bully um, and he's troubled and things like that. They invite him on this trip 
to go on a boat on the river he agrees to it and he's actually really charming to them after all like the bullying and stuff in school he, he kind of switches like different personality but he's really charming to them he's enjoying the outing he's brought a video camera so he can like vlog it he wants to keep it as like a memory um and he's like he even buys the kid that he originally beat up in the beginning of the movie this is the reason this whole boating trip idea came to be he brought him a birthday present in the when they were get he was getting in the car um and it was like a super soaker and it was really cool um and yeah he was just really charming from the moment he got in the car with them and he was really happy to have some friends to hang out with and he said that multiple times on the road like he was saying looking out the window at all the scenery and it was like it's a beautiful day to be travel on a road trip with some friends and things like that and they all started to kind of change like they were like maybe we shouldn't do this the plan was originally to throw him or to make him jump into the water from the boat naked strip him off totally naked make him jump into the water and just humiliate him um, but they didn't take into account that he couldn't swim they did come to like him a lot um, and most of them did at least there was this one guy the oldest one he was like the older brother's friend um, and he was kind of, he didn't want to let it go. He was like, I've come out here. I've come all this way. I've drove you idiots all this way out here, sacrificed my weekend to do this. We're doing it. I don't care what the rest of you think. But all the other kids are like, yeah, maybe we should stop this. You know, he's actually being pretty nice. He just wanted some friends. So they do, they agree to completely call it off. And instead they play a game of truth or dare in the boat. Um, and you know, truth comes out. And that causes a fight and it causes George. He's like, what you guys did, you guys did this? You, you were gonna do this to me? Um, and it's kind of heartbreaking. You actually start to feel bad for him. At least I did. Um, just like he was really enjoying this trip. And he realized that they were all on this trip just to kind of get revenge on him. And it's kind of like the look of betrayal and heartbreak, I guess, in his face. Um, I don't know, maybe he is just the bad guy and I shouldn't have felt sorry for him, but uh, it, with it being Josh Peck, he, it's so hard to not like him. But yeah, they basically, a fight erupts between the oldest kid um, and George. A fight breaks out and the oldest kid has some daddy troubles. Uh, his father died, killed himself actually, um, and George knows this because his mom told him. So he starts using that back at him. And it erupts into this huge fight, which causes George to go overboard, um, and he can't swim. And uh, he drowns. He dies. I couldn't remember that part. Like, I didn't know if he lived or died. I couldn't remember that. The only thing I really remember was the fighting on the boat. But yeah, watching it again the other night, it brought it back to me. Um, and like I said, from that moment on, I just, I was like, I can't remember any of this. So I didn't know he died. Then th that's when trouble starts. Like they're freaking out, they're panicking, they're throwing up. And they, it's like, it's a real serious, dark movie. Um, and it shows kind of how like young kids, how their brains work and like how they think at that age. They don't think logically. Um, they're like, one of them's like, we need to go and turn ourselves in and we need to be honest and just and then the other kids are like well what are you crazy we're gonna get arrested and go to jail for the rest of our lives we got it and then it shows like how they think so irrationally like we gotta bury the body um and you know they even one of them even said we could say we were playing truth or dare and he fell overboard or we dared him to jump in and he can't swim but they were like no because just because we were there that we will go to jail and like they're thinking crazily which in reality that would be you know you could lie i guess and say it was an accident um say like he jumped in and then he was drifting off downstream and we couldn't get to him quick enough and he drowned they, they wouldn't have been punished but the way kids minds work they're just thinking like we're gonna go to jail for the rest of our lives so they start thinking of other things and then they end up basically just burying his body on the banks of this river but there is this sort of um dark moment when they all kind of separate and they all walk off in their own directions and it just it starts to rain and it's kind of like that scene when they find ray brower's body in stand by me it's the same kind of dark atmosphere and they're all just sitting on some of them are sitting on rocks some of them are having a cigarette some of them are throwing up um the girl is like crying she didn't want nothing to do with it from the start and uh there is a scene that i didn't like though when she killed the the snail apparently that was true they did actually kill a snail for the movie some people say it's only a snail but still it's like i, I just didn't like that i looked away for that but the movie and the storytelling and the it's like a coming of age 
shows how teenagers minds work kind of movie and it's it's dark but it's it's a really good movie and uh, i would definitely watch it again time and time again i think um not as good as stand by me but this is an extremely low budget movie it only had a budget of like five hundred thousand dollars um and they didn't even spend all of that apparently it was only like a they i think they donated like three hundred and fifty thousand of it so it was literally like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget movie and it did have that kind of amateur feel to it as well like it felt like i mean with him having a a camcorder and filming it there is scenes where it's like from the camcorder's perspective and it feels very i don't really remember there being much background music i think there was at the beginning but like when it becomes the serious scenes um it's still it's very silent and uh at least i didn't pick up on any music but that's the way it felt it felt silent it felt real almost like you were there with them in the situation definitely worth watching if you guys haven't seen it i would highly recommend it um i was also talking about it to my friend and i said like it is a movie that i think you know kids should watch because she was saying well i think all adults should watch this and i was like i think kids should watch this just to show like sometimes you know these things happen you can pull a little harmless prank you know pushing somebody in the water to humiliate them and get revenge but like look what happened um and then look what happened because they tried to cover it up and they lied and eventually they do decide to come clean all of them except the older kid he decides to run off to mexico um but all of them collectively agree to turn themselves in very sad ending too um i did get a little emotional toward the end but yeah definitely check it out guys it's a really good movie um it, i would say it's one that i will watch like i said multiple times i will watch that time and time again um, if you like anything that's like a coming of age stand by me style movie, you will like this. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. That is pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams.